Alright, I finally added some real units to Kratoria. I'll show you how that went in today's video. As you already know from the last devlog, Rome will be the first faction that I'll be implementing into the game. The first guy I had in mind is a very light melee infantry type. I started out by sketching a rough concept of the character in Photoshop. He'll wear a simple Roman tunic with a smaller shield and a short sword. Furthermore, he'll have a bronze helmet with some feathers on its head. This is just a very simple sketch to get the idea across. It would be a real waste of time to sit for hours on this concept art, so I'll spend as little time on it as possible. I'm also gonna color it real quick. What a masterpiece! Alright. Next up is the modeling process. I've already prepared the human character base mesh, so I'll just have to make his clothing and equipment. I also decided to add this bronze plate onto his chest. So after around an hour of modeling, I came up with this. Looks alright to me. Now comes a lot of boring work you really don't want to see, like UV unwrapping, baking, and exporting. So let's fast forward a little. Texturing. That's easy. We already know the colors and I already prepared basic textures that I'll slap onto the mesh. Now we can finally import him into the engine, set the materials up, and here it is. Looks really nice. Just as I imagined him. What do you think? That chest plate I gave him earlier really gives him an iconic look, especially when looked at from far away. That's what counts the most in games with a top-down view. So I'm gonna keep focusing on the larger elements of the characters and maybe even exaggerate some shapes. I went through all those steps a couple of more times and finished two more characters. Here's the gladiator. He'll be a rather special type of unit. Doesn't have a lot of protection, but can deal tons of damage, especially against wounded enemies. This one also is very easy to recognize, due to his unique helmet shape and asymmetrical armor. And the last one is the Triari. This is a rather historically accurate depiction. He's gonna be much stronger than the first guy. Carrying a large wooden shield, a spear, and a chainmail shirt. He will require much more armor pieces than the first guy. So to produce this unit you'll probably need to construct a spear workshop, a shield builder, and an armor blacksmith. On the other hand, the first guy will probably just need a sword maker. As you can see, unit production will be rather individual and gradual. You can't just build a barracks and start spamming units. This will not be that type of game, just to clarify. But I'll explain the game design in depth in later videos. Before I go on, there is good news. Steam finally accepted the shop page for Kratoria and it just went live. So go ahead, check it out and leave a wishlist. Of course, these are not all units for the Roman faction. I still have a couple of more units planned. However, it will be a ton of work to create unique units for each individual faction. Most RTS games out there reuse the same characters for every civilization, but not Kratoria. I'm aiming to create a very asymmetrical faction meta. Each faction must have a distinct playstyle, special unit types, and its own strengths and weaknesses. So in that regard, I'd rather get inspired by games like StarCraft, which achieved that goal perfectly. So that was it so far with the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, since the channel is still rather small and you might miss out on some of my videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.